can rest here a moment. Now, tell me what you know of that breaker of rings. Weak and wretched troll. Alfred is a wily fox. He appears frail, but draws upon an inner strength. He will not be easy to oust. Fury will fuel my army and my claim. It will not be enough. You must find a weakness. Yes. That is why I called you here. Do you balk at the opportunity to bury the Saxon king? I must first hear a plan to balk at. Hmm. Alfred spoke of Chippenham, a squat hovel of sheep and peasants. So why does he go there, and not to Winchester? Your scouts must know, they're the best in England. A holiday feast, their Saxon Christ Mass. Alfred will warm his heels by the fire, while Uba lies cold in an English field. I have called upon my allies to join us in this fight, but I must know where to send them. Is Chippenham our final prize? It is. But uh, I will need my men for the coming fight as well. The hostages Alfred took. If there is a chance to save them... We will not lose more friends today. Where are they held? A place further ahead through this forest. They call it Hampton Blockade. Soma, ride north to the Thames and lead my allies south. They should be gathered by now. I will. Gather on the river passing Chippenham. The rest of you set up camp there. I called you Raven Feeder once. At Porchester, you were as hot-headed as Thor. You have become a true leader, Eivor. There's much to come, Guthrum, before we can rest with mead in our hands and songs in our ears. I will crush Alfred's skull with my bare hands if Uba is dead. We cannot dwell on this, even if it's true. If you want the throne, only strategy will deliver it. Or bloody wrath will steal it. I will follow this Alfred, hound his heels. Revenge burns within me. A wise man once told me, we do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected, strike swift. You turn my words against me now, Wolfkist. I took them too hard in my darkest times, my friend. And Sigurd? He is back with you? My brother's story is a long one, and for another time. Ridding the land of a strong ruler will make Wessex harder to tame. You almost sound like you respect him, Eivor. I've come to understand the trials of leadership, Guthrum. It is hard not to, when you cradle something as fragile as life within your hands. There. This is the blockade. The hostages must be in these buildings. Clouds here. It's hard not to alert the guards. But I can raid this place in moments with my crew. Let's go! Ah, my friends, you have my... Th I told you, good.
Guthrum, some of your men. We will not be feasting in Odin's Hall tonight, boys. Enough skulking. These sac- Survey the area, Zulin. These Saxons do not deserve compassion. I will wash my blade in their blood. As long as I can cut some Saxons down, I don't care where we face them. Are you Guthrum's men? Aye! Free us and we will fight by your side! Gods be good to you, and thank you. Every Saxon who spat at me will die! You will have your chance, but don't be foolhardy. Let your steps take you far from here to a camp near Tippenham. Thank you, Eivor. You did a great deed. Their families will raise a cup to you. I need no thanks, Guthrum. Let us speak more when we are safely away. We're safe here. Let us speak, Guthrum. You should join your people at the camp. Even a surprise takes preparation. Your bravery? Your leadership, Eivor? You wear it well. You have grown much since last we spoke. You judged me fairly, Guthrum. Harsh, though your words were. But I do not make the same mistake twice. How is your brother, Sigurd? He lives. A changed man. But he is free of full case torment. That at least was a deed well done. Will this all be worth it in the end? Everything we have done? Everything we have sacrificed to win this land? Sometimes I dream of soothed black furrowed earth. And blood seeping from seedlings, poisoning our future. We must believe our way of life will survive. Our fates are woven, but our deeds forge our destiny. <sighs> and so to our final battle. We will wait for you at the camp.
west of Uffentune. I fear the worst, but I must know. the Saxon Lord. Is Uba really dead? Eivor, you made it unscathed. They came from all over England. I never thought it possible, Eivor, that you would rally Saxons and Norse under your black-feathered banner. They see the tyranny of this elf king. He would crush them all under heel and plug their hearts with his god. So what is the plan, Eivor? When is their feast day? A few nights from now, but their revelry has already begun. We should attack now. That is unwise. Soldiers pace the paths of the village. Then the night of the feast, on the cover of darkness. That is when we will strike. Uba will not have died in vain. We await your instructions, Eivor. I will greet my allies first. Good. Come find us again when you are ready. I... A few survivors found their way to us. The great man is gone. The last vestiges of Ragnar's legacy begin... We owe Eivor a lot, my love. I know, I know. This last of Ray, I hope the debt will be cleared. There you are, Eivor. Luthina, my old friend. And I see you have convinced your husband to stumble southwards. I couldn't let her carve all the glory for herself. Luthina was just boasting of her heroics in Sussex. She took the fort single-handed, while the rest of us sat back and sipped meat. You should have seen her. <laughs> I have come to make sure my warrior wife's enthusiasm for battle does not get her slaughtered. Have you ever met a woman less in need of a guardian than me, Eivor? You will have one nonetheless. I know, I know. This last of Ray, I hope the death will be cleared. Eivor! It's good to see you. Erke and Stowe, I released you from your debt, and yet you came. London is quiet enough. And Stow here felt the sharp stab of conscience. Could not let you down, Eivor. That's not what an honorable man does. So here I am, despite my reservations. And you, Broder. I did not think you would be here either. I have seen to my brother. Sent him to Valhalla with grave goods. I am done with sorrow, Eivor. Now I am bloody angry. Last of I hope the death will be cleared. I long to return home to our own war path. Deolav, you have come again at my call. I have, but this does not sit well with me, Eivor. This is a Christian feast, and the people here are not soldiers. I come only for Alfred. Innocents will die for your ambitions. I am your ally now, but after this, I must turn back to Mercia. I have much to repent. So long as I do not lose your friendship, your oath will be fulfilled. This last of Ray, I hope the debt will be cleared. <laughs> 
Gidrich. After Rochester, I was not sure you would come again. I've chosen my side. It would sooner bet a hog than allow Alfred to pillage the land of love. Guthrum will trample Alfred's ambitions like weeds in the dirt. Mercia might rise further yet. <laughs> Perhaps I shall one day sit upon the throne of all England. King Giedrich the drunken ass. <laughs> I'll raise a cup to that. This last of I hope the death will be cleared. You I... Look, you Saxon bedwetters. Here is a real warrior. Billy, what tales are you weaving for these surf-downed Saxons? Do not make me regret supporting your Yaldum. Hey, Vor. You know I will take your childhood scrapes and secrets to the pyre. Good. I would hate for something to happen to you in the coming fight. Ha! Such fiendish ribaldry between you two. You laugh in the face of fear. Tweak old man death's beard. I will do my mother. I'm my lord proud today, Eivor. The lord knows I have not been the best of sons. Good to see your spirits high. Fight well, my friends, and we'll feast together in victory. You soft-cheeked Anglo boys. This last of have you brought the your mother with you? you? My mother, but after. It is good to see you. I gave you my word. Besides, Alfred's faith is strict and he has no love for pagans. You have changed much from that guard-whipped boy. That is good to see. I was always him, but my faith was like a veil. I am glad you helped me lift it. And now another education. You'll see how we Norse bads fight. I am all a quiver with anticipation. My mother is worth ten of your men. I do not doubt it. Ah, Finir. You have come far at my call, old friend. I've done all I can to help King Oswald find his feet. I leave East Anglia in good hands. You do not plan to return, then? No. When I heard of a mighty warrior in the West who brings terror to the Saxons, I came to join you, if you'll have me. Once we have seen to Alfred, you will raise a horn. Not as allies, but as companions. If drinking and feasting be in my future, I will follow you to hell. I do not doubt it. I have seen the last of the Saxons. Hope the death will be clear. Cracking round the heart. I long. Farmers play with your cogs. Ha! And she'd welcome you in Colchester Village. Well, Eivor, you made it unscathed. Let us speak of our plan to take Chippenham. Let us plan our approach. But whatever happens, Alfred is mine. They are not expecting us. We should not meet much resistance on the way. Then quietly through the fields. It will already be too late once they see us. Your young Saxons can be our eyes to the west. Better to keep their soft hands away from the conflict. My scouts reported that a few nobles have arrived for the festivities already. Good. If we capture the Thanes, there will be no danger when I confront Alfred. And we could persuade them to support a new king of Wessex. I will subdue the lords. Take Deolaf and Tefta with you. They could prove useful in convincing the Thanes. Rhoda, take Erdkian stove and capture the garrison. Make quick work of any Saxons that dare cross into the village. <laughs> Gladly, Eivor. We each know our parts. May they blunt their swords against our might. Tonight, Wessex's last resistance will crumble. I follow you, Eivor. And I. Be ravening wolves and croaking ravens. Stand firm, your axe arms strong, and together, we will win this final battle. And remember, Alfred is mine. Soma, with me. Everyone else, go quickly to the village. Advance! Be on the lookout for any stray guards. Get to the village and wait for my signal. If 
they see me, this will get messy. Let's smoke the rat out of his god's house! Did you think my king would turn his back on you, Eivor, when your knife is smeared with the blood of Werum? Stand aside, Goodwin. I come for Alfred. Alfred is long gone, and this good Christian feast, a cup of honey wine, to trap some wasps. Where is he? Calling his allies to his side, all those who wish to see Wessex under one god. You cannot win England with your sorry crew of deluded farmers and godless fools. At least I wouldn't leave them to die as I scurried through the corn husks like a rat. You have no understanding of duty, the loyalty I freely give. His plan for England, for the world, is worth the cost of my life. Then sing your tuneless hymns. Come, Raven Feeder, do your worst. For all your boasts, warrior, I scratch at you like a cat. You yap like a dog! Beaten, Goodwin. Beaten? No, not so. By my death, my lord may live. Alfred used you, fool. He threw you in my path. For what? He only delays what is inevitable. Kill me, then. It makes no odds. For here you stand, bloody and breathless, no closer to my king, no closer to his throne. This island will never be your home, Eivor. You will not subdue her with vicious force or win her with cocksure words. We Saxons will always stand firm, shoulder by shoulder against thieves and tyrants whose envious eyes fall upon England. If I must strike down all of England to subdue her, let it begin with you. Oh, Lord. Into your hands I commit my spirit. Back. 
with room. I need you fighting with the rest. These men will not surrender. And one little cockflog barricaded himself behind that door there. I will find a way in. The rest are fared as well. Closing in around my eyes. <coughs> Hunwald, listen to me. You survived the Battle of Bottlestun. Do not let this scratch best you now. I'm so cold. As winter comes so soon. You will warm yourself with mead and dancing yet, my friend. Perhaps not. It may be I will sit beside my father soon. Will he be proud of me? He will pull you to his breast, sob bright words of welcome, and until you know man ever had a worthier son. I am glad to have known you, Eivor. Truest. <laughs> there was nothing more. I need to see if Broda has taken the carry. and has more defenders than we hoped! They may not be in slaughter! Find a way to open the gates from the inside! Hurry! These gates of reinforcements are hell sent! Christ is surely with us!
of them. Make sure the garrison stays under our control. I need to help the others. Go, brothers. Routed. The city is ours! Wessex will follow! Good from y'all. We're not without losses. Some of them brave. Their king is fled. His paths is struck down. Defeat rings loud in their ears, and I will be their lord before the spring is here. Good from hear me. Soma is. She's gone. Soma? Dead? She has gone to the endless feast, and is the better for it. I must speak to those still living. Fire! It is done, Brodia. You fought well. I saw him, Havor. In my darkest moment, Brothir stood beside me, and all was as it used to be. And then the battle ended. I feel him no longer. There will be other battles. Aye. And there you'll find me, Havor, in amongst the blood and death, Brothir at my shoulder, until the Valkyries claim me. You have given me more than I would ever have asked for. How will I repay it? Keep him in your thoughts. For when a man is mourned, his deeds cheered and his songs sung, he cannot die. Lufina. Gods, I... I did not know. Is, is he...? Hush. What good can words do, Havor? Keep to silence. He is gone. For what days I was given to spend with you. For each breath that carried your sweet whispers. I give thanks. No more. Your fingers in my hair. No more your arms around my waist. The days will be called hereafter. All color dimmed. Good 
I am my only. My heart ends with you. What is left will go on. Your first battle, Illerich. You fought well and with honor. Is this the glory you deign to seek? You can keep it. I saw Hoonwald die. The light dim in his eyes. That could have been me. You will never be the same. But you will be stronger for it. I have wasted so much time in pouting like a child. No more, Eivor. No more. Do you think there will come a day when winning will not be enough? Well, you can always fight with me if you want to taste crushing and loin-soiling defeat. My very presence would make that impossible. Enjoy this victory, Eivor, wherever it brings you. Only a coward thinks you'll live forever. My thanks, though. You came to my aid when you were free to turn away. And still, it breaks my heart to look upon what we've done today. Was it the right choice? I do not know. But, it is done now. If Alfred had his way, there would never be friendship between Norse and Saxon. You fought for peace. Be proud of that. I wish I could. And in time, perhaps I will. Okay. You wear a furrowed brow. Stowe is taking matters hard. You know how sensitive he is. A man of faith and stout morals. Small wonder he is tormented. His support for you has taxed him hard. I will take him back to London. Maybe he will find some comfort there. You are his comfort, Erke. Not the city you watch. He is in good hands. You're not injured, Tefta. Bruises, that is all. I've taken the Lord into my heart, and he watched over my sorry bones. Those who fell sit beside him now. And what of my heathen friends? I used to believe in damnation for all who turned from his light. But there is a wondrous communion in friendship honored. Even though your godson preaches peace. And we shall do that, Christians and pagans, side by side. Never persecuted. Your Christ would smile at that, I think. Your Freya would too. He shall come to judge the living and the dead. Deolaf, Gidrich, there's a solemn air about you. To disturb such holy revels with blood and murder. I fear God may never forgive me for this. Had your guard taken Alfred's side, we would not have won. So it may be you did his work after all. Alfred still lives. And now I am twice his enemy. Give me one more fight, and I will gladly make it a third. He is defanged and of little threat to us now. That slippery eel may yet surprise you. Atonement is a long and lonely path. And I must soon leave to take my first steps upon it. Your debts to me are paid. I wish you well on your journeys.